Hello, in today's webinar we're going to look at uh, creating 3D games. So, where are the uh, 3D games uh, kept? Well, you can access the 2DIY 3D in the tools area. So, head for the tools and scroll your way down and on the right hand side under quiz and game creation you'll see you'll see 2DIY 3D. Now, before we get started with this, it's um, things that you could possibly do with the children is um, flesh it out a little bit by maybe asking them to plan their computer game. So there's a, a planning uh, tool here. You could set that as a to-do for them, as an activity to plan their game. Uh, you can uh, have the children working collaboratively uh, to pool their ideas for a game using a to connect uh, which they can uh, all work on at the same time you can even ask them to do some marketing for their game so you could do persuasive writing or you could do game reviews once they've uh, finished their games you could get the children to uh, play each other's games and write a review so there's actually quite a lot of genres of writing um, that we could cover with a um, 2 DIY 3D game the other thing that you might find useful before you start is that we've, we've actually added some games down the bottom. Now, these might give them some good ideas or they could click on the relevant game and you could set that as a to do with the task of can you explore that game? What do you like about it? What would you make better? Could you review it? Um, and then once they've got an idea of the sort of things that can happen and be achieved in a game, they could then go on to build their own. So you might want to start with some of these activities um, before you actually jump straight into the game itself. OK. There's some help videos here, but you'll also see a link to the help videos within the game itself. I'm going to go to 2DIY 3D. And I'm going to launch it. Now, there's two different levels here. There's a My Simple Game and there's a My Game. Now, My Simple Game is, as it suggests, a lot simpler. So if I click on that, I have a lot fewer options. OK, I can just make the one game one level. So if, you, if they've not done any before, you might want to start off on this. You might want to add something like walls. And here I am adding some walls in my game. Uh, if I want to change the walls, there's a little pencil mark next to the wall there, and I clip on the, click on the clip art, and I can choose a different type of wall, or I can even import my own wall, should I want to. Okay, so if I wanted hieroglyphs, I can just go, okay, and that'll change it. I can add objects like a tree, but I don't have to add just a tree. If I click on the pencil button, I can click on the uh, the uh, clip art and I can add any of these objects or I can choose my own or I can even go and have a look in all the rest of the clip art. So if I wanted, uh, if I wanted a cactus, I can have cactus. Uh, I can change the type of ground I've got. So if I want sandy ground, I can put sandy ground in. If I want to change the background sky, I could put pyramids in there and that would add that. I can add things to collect. Now, these don't have to be coins. If you click on the coin and click on the clip art, you can choose any of those or you can add your own file. So I'll pop a treasure chest on there. Oops. There we go. And we'll say th four points for getting the treasure chest. I can add another one there, and that could be something different. So that could be a sapphire. And that could be two points for that. I can add um, a baddie. Now, the baddie doesn't have to look like that. I can click on the baddie, and I can uh, create a different type of baddie. So I could have a, a, a mummy who could hunt me down. And so that's been added to the screen as well. So I've just added a few... Uh, walls, some objects to uh, collect. Now up here uh, you could get them to write the instructions so this is where you could put your instructional writing you can pop a title in and you can add your instructions in here whatever. You can change the lives, the uh, the uh, time that you've got, the game over and the uh, level completion sounds. You can even add your own voice 
over into here to um, give it speech support and you can change the colours of any of this as well so if you, if you wanted a sort of yellowy background you can change it like that okay um, if you want to see what it looks like you can just click the play button and now oops I got got there you go but I can I can maneuver around my screen okay and then I can make some changes if I want to and then finally if I want to save it I can click on the hamburger menu in the corner and click save and it could be uh, this could be my Egypt game so I'm just going to call it Egypt and that's saved that okay now um, I'll show you how you can share those uh, a bit later on but let's look at the next level game to open that up again I'm going to go for the uber version of this now in this one I've got more options you can see down the side here so uh, again I've got my walls that I can add so these are more like dry stone walls uh, but should I want to I could add my own now again if I click on there as I did before I can click choose file now what I've actually done is I've drawn a brambly hedge uh, with morning dew on it in uh, to paint a picture so I can click on there to find my own and I can go to my work and I can say look there's one I made in the painting program so I'm going to open that can you see there's my brambly hedge that I created and I've created my own border there so very straightforward if I want to incorporate another program like paint uh, this was actually to paint a picture this one and again you can see I've got some extra options here so I can add pillars if I want but they don't have to be pillars again I can change those to other objects or bring in my own if I wanted to Uh, I can add fire pits in this one if I wanted to. I can add water features. Uh, I can change the ground like I could before. So again, uh, in this one, uh, I might, uh, might want grass in this one. I can have a ceiling if I needed to, but I won't bother in this. And I can add a sky, so a sort of different background. So again, I could choose uh, sort of maybe mountainous background to this as well. Again, I can drop my objects in and I can change any of these like I did before. I can put my baddies in and I can change my baddies as I did before. Okay. Uh, now, something else that I can do in, in order to incorporate another program is I could, um, down here where it says other, I can actually import my own uh, backing music for it. Now we know that most children's games come with annoying soundtracks so this is an opportunity for them to create their own. They could do this in the music software within uh, Purple Mash and so if you click on there you can use any of these, uh, you can uh, open up a sound file or you can record your own. Um, I'm going to uh, open a sound file and you can see I made one called track open and that will loop through the music uh, through the uh, program rather so again very easy to add your own soundtracks now with this one you probably notice it says level one at the top that means I can create multiple levels so if I wanted to I could create a level two by just clicking on that little button and there's another blank and off I go with my next level and again I can write the instructions for each level so this one I've got a different set of instructions for this level so you could actually make your own um, sort of storyboard type of game uh, where the story is uh, told through the different levels of the program again 
you can just click up here and save and uh, this could be um, I'll just call that Egypt too even though it's not Egypt and you can see that I've done two different uh, levels on that one there's the little how to video at the top corner if you if you need it okay so those are two that I have uh, created and again as I say if you want to click play here you go here's the one I've just made Right, if I just come out of this program here, I mentioned a couple of other programs that I used. So if I can go back to the home page, click on tools and scroll down, this is paint a picture. So that's what I used um, for my uh, fence. Uh, you can paint in different styles in, in this. I use swirls uh, for uh, that one that uh, you just saw and then you can see also down the bottom here you've got explore beat and sequence I use sequence to create a soundtrack uh, which I then saved and then imported into the game so I use some music and I use some art in order to pull those together now it could be that you want to share your marvelous creations with the children so uh, what you might want to do is create a display board or a blog so if you go to the admin button here, you've got a button that says manage blogs and you've got a button that says manage display boards. And from here, you can just click on the relevant one. You can click the plus button and you can make your own. You can decide who can see it, whether it, who can put work onto the board, uh, whether it's visible to the public. Uh, so if you want to share the work outside of Purple Mash, then you can. And then down here, you click who can actually see it. Now, I'm not going to go into display boards now because I don't have time in this session, but if you look up the top corner, there is a video of how to make a display board. It's really straightforward. I'll show you one in a moment. And it's the same process if you want to make a blog. So if you click on make a blog, you can click plus button and you can create your own blog and you can decide who can see it and who can comment on and who can post it. And nothing goes on the blog unless you've approved it. Notice also there's a how-to video built in as well. So if children wanted to view work that had been shared on the blog, they just click the sharing button at the top here and any blog or display board they're allowed to see will be here. So the first tab is display boards. Okay, so if I click on display board there, you can see some work that has been sent up to the display board and there can be numerous pieces of display board. Uh, on here, so that's a, a sort of a planning docker, a leaflet, etc. Uh, you can have eight pieces in one view and then it'll scroll so you can put as much work as you want onto the display board. And again, if I went, clicked on sharing, there's shared blogs. So any blog that you've uh, created and shared, they can see here. So if I click the games blog there, then any game that's been uploaded they'll be able to click in here they'll be able to comment on it down at the bottom and they'll be able to play it from here and it will load it up and this one's about the magic key and off they go into the game and you can see so off they go and they've got to find the magic key there it is And you can see this has got multiple levels. So next level, it takes you, the key is a portal. It takes you through to a tomb in ancient Egypt and you have to find the next key to get to the next portal. So click play and it moves it on to the next portal. So now I'm in ancient Egypt trying to find uh, the next key. Oh, I've been got by a mummy. Ah, I think I can see the key over there. Anyway, you get the idea. Uh, and so... Uh, you could blog if you wanted all your games uh, from uh, from your own blog and you can make as many of these as you want and the children will see them if you shared them with them from the sharing option now if you need more help and support with things like blogs if you click the teachers button at the moment we've added a school closure and home learning button here 
and if you click on that we've got loads of helpful advice so um, I've talked about setting to do's and tasks then if you need to know more about that there's information in here there's also some how-to videos we've added so there's how to make a display board how to uh, do blogging uh, even how to do email because again you could send uh, the uh, work uh, via email as well if you like um, if you want to um, use collaborative learning I talked about um, the possibility of children working together on projects again that little video will tell you about collaboration too. We're also going to be adding a, uh, great ideas uh, in the teacher blog as well. So daily we'll add an extra idea uh, for how you can use Purple Mash uh, for teachers. So look out uh, for that. And if you want to really get to be a uber learner, uh, uber teacher within uh, Purple Mash, just click on the training platform button and within here, We've added 12 courses to get you started. And so the first three, particularly if you've not used it much before, you've got getting started and then you've got a course on setting and assessing work. And then you've got a, a, a course on sharing work as well. Uh, so, you know, if you've got a bit of time and you'd like to sort of up your skills in Purple Mash, we've given you some courses, which are a series of, uh, of videos uh, with quizzes built in and downloadable resources. So. It's all to play for in there. Um, I'm sure the children will absolutely love making their own 3D games and sharing those. So hope you enjoyed that. Remember, there's plenty of online support in here to help you um, with making your, um, making your games. Uh, if there's anything that you need to uh, get back to us on, by all means, do contact us. You can contact us. Um, cpd at too simple dot com uh, that's myself andrew at too simple dot com and helping you me with this webinar was justin at too simple dot com and uh, just before i finish uh, don't forget if you've not got serial mash at the moment if you've got a little bar across there saying it's premium content that is free while we've got the um coronavirus uh, with schools shut so uh, if you want that get back to us and we'll get that switched on for you uh, and the, your children can enjoy a wide range of reading books every chapter having spag resources uh, extended writing activities grammar and punctuation activities as well so by all means you know use what we've got in here there's a wealth of resources for supporting online learning in this platform Thanks very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.